Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk a lot about how to maximize your morning. For me, the morning is the most powerful point in the day. It sets the tone. I find that if I start my mornings with the perfect combination of mindfulness, productivity, and wellness, that I'm geared for success the whole day through. These are six habits that I've taken into my daily schedule. I do them every single morning. And I've also found that I have them in common with people like Oprah and Tony Robbins, my personal idols. So let's get into these six habits to get your morning started on the right foot. visualization. The first thing I do after I open my eyes is I sit up in bed and I begin to practice visualization. When you wake up in the morning, you're brand new, full of possibilities and potential, a new person. Have you ever noticed that sometimes you wake up and it takes you a minute to remember where you are and what you're supposed to be doing that day and why is your alarm even going off? Exactly. So the morning, in those moments before you fully come into your earthly self and you're still in this bit of a dream state, it's the perfect time to start practicing visualization and gratitude. The first thing I do is I sit up in bed and I close my eyes and I just let my mind wander. I let it go wherever it wants to go. I try not to let my conscious mind get involved and coach it. I get some of my absolute best ideas in the first few moments after I wake up. Then I start to practice gratitude. I go down a list in my mind of everything I'm grateful for. You'll find once you start listing things you're grateful for, they kind of start multiplying and you can't even get through the whole list because there's so many things you're grateful for. If you can't think of where to start, you can start with being grateful that you woke up this morning. Then the last thing I do is I begin to go through a calculated visualization of my whole day. I'm known for this. I don't know where I actually got this idea from and I think that it was born originally out of a need from a practical standpoint. I usually have so many things to do in a day and so many bags to pack and lunches to bring that if I don't walk through it, then I kind of end up forgetting little details. I forget that change of clothes that I need for rehearsal or that lunch I needed to pack so I can eat in that 15 minute break. So I think it started out that way. But now when I visualize my day from start to finish while I'm sitting in bed, I visualize it in such a way that the whole day works beautifully, that it's just harmony with the universe. I imagine my day going perfectly from start to finish. If I encounter a little challenge, I imagine overcoming it with ease. I imagine not running into traffic and getting all the best parking spots. I also imagine that everyone I encounter is going to be grateful and happy to see me and I'm going to reciprocate that feeling right back. So like I said, this will help you on a level of creating a day that actually is that full of ease and gratitude but also it'll help you on a practical level because you'll remember to put that really important presentation in your bag and not forget it. Number two is making your bed. I always make my bed the minute I stand up out of it. This for me sets me on the path of accomplishing things. I've already checked something off my to-do list. I've taken pride in my space. I'm a firm believer in the fact that the small things matter. They make a difference. It's often the attention to detail on something small that can set you apart. In the book, The Power of Habit, Charles Duhigg says that making your bed every morning is correlated to better productivity, a greater sense of well-being, and stronger skills at sticking to a budget. Step three, hydrate. I swear, I genuinely believe that most of the people I speak to are not drinking enough water. I myself can be guilty of going long dance filled days without drinking nearly enough water. The symptoms of dehydration include muscle fatigue, headache, nausea, the list goes on. Conversely, the benefits of drinking enough water are literally endless. It creates supple skin, cleanses out your body, maximizes your physical performance. So now I drink water first thing in the morning, at least a bottle, if not two. There's a lot of conflicting evidence whether or not drinking water first thing in the morning can help reduce 
your calorie intake throughout the day, help promote weight loss, help to flush your system. Um, there's conflicting evidence about that. But the reason that I think it's best to drink water first thing in the morning is that it gets done. Your body is composed of about 60% water and we need water to survive. So I think it's pretty important that we don't forget or that we don't start drinking coffee and completely forget that we need water. So for me, getting it done in the morning assures that it gets done and my body is properly hydrated. Morning habit number four is meditation. The morning is the perfect time to take a minute to create some stillness. I meditate every morning and I like to keep my morning meditations short, five to 10 minutes of sitting in calm, quiet, letting my mind be still and firing up my body with pure energy so I can have an aligned, peace-filled day. If you're in the transformation tier or the M3 series tier or higher in the program, you have access to the original 10 minute guided meditation that I created for you. This is a great way to get your day started, to be aligned, filled with peace, and really be tapped into your limitless potential. Habit number five is to move your body and stretch. For me personally, I love to get a morning workout in and almost every day I get a 25 to 35 minute workout in in the morning, followed by an infrared sauna session and a stretch. I think it's critical as a dancer or an athlete to get your body warmed up. And I've been a dancer for three decades and I've never had a serious injury. I think that warming my body up and stretching first thing in the morning has had a lot to do with that. That aside, completing a morning workout makes me feel powerful and accomplished, and it also activates me to making loving, healthful choices for my body all day long. You really also have to remember that just like with drinking water, if you tend to put your workouts off till later in the day, it's more likely that you're gonna have things pop up that are gonna get in the way of your workout. If you do it first thing in the morning and it's the first thing on your to-do list, you'll ensure that it gets done. Your body is your temple, you have to worship it. Your last morning habit is ice cold showers. I know guys, this one was a really hard one for me because I love warm cozy showers and I hate to be cold. But I was recently introduced to the benefits of ice cold showers by a man named Wim Hof. If you don't know him, I highly suggest you look him up. He has an entire technique and method of breathing, and it's really a game changer. So I was a little bit skeptical at first and downright opposed because I don't like to be cold, but I figured it was worth a try because the science really makes sense to me. On his website, Wim Hof lists the benefits of cold showers as a more robust autoimmune response, higher levels of alertness, increased willpower, just to name a few. So now every morning I take a room temperature shower and then I blast myself with a freezing cold water for a couple of minutes. It really changes the way that I can attack my day. I am up and I'm ready for anything. I really suggest you give it a try. It's a little shocking at first, but I promise you it will pay off. If you're interested in learning Wim Hof's breathing techniques, he teaches them to you on his website and throughout this coronavirus pandemic, he's offering 50% off all his courses. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that these habits will help you to start your morning with purpose and on the right track. I want you guys to remember that if you really want to live a life of greatness, sometimes a little bit of sacrifice is required. You might need to wake up a little early or be a little uncomfortable in a cold shower, but it will pay off for you if you commit to your health of your mind, body, and spirit 360 degrees. I'll see y'all real soon. <laughs> No. <laughs>